The Kitigan, which is designed now on the system, where we want therapy, science, and fun, and bring to all the children. We do that occupational therapy, health, and writing, they jump and move, and we need to attention fun and that's fun. I'm Amy Dawson, a certified science teacher, and taking them is how science should be taught. If I was teaching about wavelengths and lines in the standard school district, I would get up there, give them a video, show them a couple demonstrations, expect them to take notes and learn it. Pickinson doesn't do that. This is a sensory exploratory science lab. Science lab. Instead, we give them lights and we give them color. They're not too surprised if they get this work. We have to. Ooh. But you know, blue, red, yellow, this is, you know, no brainer for them. You put the colors together, you get brown, right? Nope, this is light. You get white, and that just blows their mind. This is the sort of hands on learning by doing that the person does. We also arrange our labs a little differently. I can teach circling phrases and great. We step off, we don't do the loving papers, diagrams, so that stuff, no. We begin with something that Kids are familiar with a holiday, an event, a month, a season. In this case, it's hard, Valentine's Day. We begin the lab, right behind the bit, we start a whole movement. We don't expect them to sit still, no. They run, they jump, they stand out, a pulse with their feet. Then we get to the actual lab. They're doing it themselves at their own individual pace. They're making, they're creating, they're doing, they're thinking. And by the end of the lab, you start looking at all the concepts that they have learned on their own and that they will remember. And remember, take time is sensory science. This is not just touch or hearing or seeing. This includes tasting. What can you work on when creating something that you can eat? And now I'm going to explain how we do it. Our lab is mobile, and it means to bring our team, our manager, and people to your home. Your family work where chicken and all of you stand up. Kitty Camp has been open for a few months, and since then, the production lives of more than 1,000 children from the campus and the inside, and our lots were affected, so 80% of the students will be threatened and very loud. Kitty Camp is growing, and our goal is to bring the lot to the campus in the adult area and expand. Our goal is to help campus to school districts. To change the privacy percent of science for efficiency and change. We plan to use our parents Maybe you are a teacher that really needs to get allowed to teach a specific concept that students just aren't getting to be a You might get camp needed a great activity or school uh, district wanting a nice weekly lab. We have over 70 labs aligned with the next generation science standards with top few weeks. And we met with Cyril Bayer on the first slide. Four years down the road, he loved learning and science and culture. He used science to make his parents. He found change in life. It will change my own Hi, my name is Connor and I'm the founder of Echo Group. And I'm also a pre-calculus and calculus teacher at Orbis And uh, before I started teaching, I imagined it would look something like this. <laughs> I had lectures uh, with students sitting in rapid attention. Uh, but I very quickly learned that teaching is actually a lot more like this. Uh, there are piles of papers from students who are just waiting to find out uh, how they did. Finding out how it in, in, in reality, this is what teaching should be. Uh, giving students feedback is where the learning really happens. It's the fundamental exchange between teachers and students. Uh, but and it's it's the fundamental exchange exchange between teachers and students. Um, in, Feedback has been shown to be so effective uh, that one study ranked 50 different uh, educational interventions. And they found that giving daily feedback uh, to students, a process called formative evaluation, uh, 
was the number one most effective way to increase student achievement. Um, and so, if we want to change our schools in the next city, we need to give our students more people. But the reality is that we will never be able to do it efficiently or effectively if giving feedback looks like this, if we're still stuck in piles of data. And so, that's why I designed Echo Grid. Echo Grid is a great app to help teachers give personalized feedback quickly to their students. And here's how it works. Teachers, students submit a picture of their work through the app. Teachers can then give comments, evaluate, give general feedback, and even draw on the pictures uh, to, to help students. Students then receive that feedback and are able to make the changes uh, right away without learning bad habits. And so everybody is different than a lot of other apps that are out there. For instance, one our clicker system, uh, we provide students with more information than just uh, whether they're right or wrong on a multiple choice test. But unlike some apps, we don't require schools to invest in a class set of iPads. So uh, any device that a student can take a picture on, they can receive feedback. Now, as of March, we launched, we're live on the App Store and on the Google Play Store, and uh, we're working with Ulta Vista Charter School and with the Tutorials Tutoring Company. So far, uh, we have six teachers and 50 students signed up, but that number is growing every day. Uh, and as we work with our teachers, we're continuing to improve our product. Because we know uh, that if teachers can grade in an average of 30 seconds, then they'll be able to grade an entire person class in less than an hour. As of now, the app is free for students, and it will remain free for students. For teachers, it is also free.